It's a returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka Star Trap, the next generation. Gillette survived the backlash from its toxic masculinity ad in January, so it decided to try slitting the other wrist by celebrating morbid obesity this month. Gillette didn't feature a goddess who resembles the statue that lost its arms, but a planet-sized model who might get diabetes and lose her feet. This is Anna O'Brien, aka Glitter and Lasers. Fritters and Taters has lipedema, a disorder characterized by enlarged legs due to excess fat deposits under the skin. This contrasts with her unhealthy lifestyle, characterized by the excess fat in her upper body as well. The Gillette ad doesn't put her weight in context. It glorifies obesity unconditionally, speaking in absolutes about absolute units. When I reposted this ad, O'Brien found my subtle fat joke offensive and filed multiple DMCA claims overnight, which brings new meaning to mass reporting. According to her Instagram story, she failed to take my repost down the first time and claimed that changing slay to harpoon was hate speech. It was really just a revision. You slay dragons, you harpoon marine mammals, and you get a galactic tornado of false copyright claims if you take a jab at Rufus. Instagram eventually took it down, though it's still up on Twitter and Facebook, and O'Brien deleted her IG stories and blocked me. So much for not caring what people think of you outside the people close to your heart, none of whom must be cardiologists. You'd think she'd be used to criticism and banter by now. She's no stranger to publicity stunts, like when she stood in a bikini on a busy street and was shocked that weirdos came up to her. In New York. This fathead doesn't think anything through. The only thing reflective and light about glitter and lasers is her name. Gillette posted a follow-up the next day. Venus is committed to representing beautiful women of all shapes, sizes, and skin types because all types of beautiful skin deserve to be shown. Unless you're an extremely skinny woman, because Gillette never seems to feature one. Beautiful women means no dad bods, and beautiful skin means no grayscale. We love Anna because she lives out loud, with a much shorter life expectancy, and loves her skin no matter how the rules say she should display it. Gillette must be ignoring the rules that govern how your organs work. Also the rules that say to cover up your gunt in public so people don't projectile vomit are bad, but the rules that say to shave your legs are good. How financially convenient. Finally, how can you adore your skin when you stretch the hell out of it until it suits you? These water buffaloes remind me of Buffalo Bill. Gillette's follow-up tweet ends with a blue heart, because ending with a yellow heart would have hit too close to home. A lot of you fat fuckos out there think that Gillette's ad is empowering, but in reality it's reprehensible. Gillette doesn't actually give a shit about you. Grazers go through a lot of razors, so Gillette wants to sell as many shaving products to you until you die of heart disease or stroke in your 40s. When that happens, there are still plenty of whales in the sea, so Gillette will partner with a fat acceptance spokeswoman who clicks with you. That feel when virtue signaling works like echolocation. Once Gillette can't extract any more value out of you, it'll secure the bag of ambergris somewhere else. If you're morbidly obese, then the only thing more disposable than Gillette's razors is you. Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now. Everybody drugs everybody sometimes Everybody tries to get some out